In the wake of videos showing young children mistreated at Kindalan preschools last month, Workers' Party MP Gerald Jayam Ajnani GRC asked in Parliament last week whether the Early Childhood Development Agency ECDA would require all preschools to adopt a child protection policy. He also inquired if the ECDA would lay out such a policy for preschools to customize to their own needs. A child protection policy will articulate the minimum standards laid out in government regulations and may also include additional safeguarding commitments that are tailored to the school's unique circumstances. Mr. Jayam explained. In August, a preschool teacher was seen rough-handling young children at Kindalan Preschool at Woodland Smart in videos shared online. This led to the suspension of the teacher, a 33-year-old woman. On August 30th, ECDA said she was barred from working in the preschool sector and issued a warning. Another Kindalan teacher, a 48-year-old woman, was arrested on August 29th after a video showed that she allegedly hurt a child. Mr. Jayam wrote that, after these incidents, many parents have been concerned about the safety of their young children. In a Monday, September 25th Facebook post, he added that a child protection policy would protect schools and teachers. Such a policy would prevent baseless accusations by students and their parents by establishing clear boundaries of behavior for everyone. In response, Minister of State San Shueling held up three sets of regulations and policy documents totaling over 200 pages that govern early childhood development to protect children and explain that it is not for a lack of policies that the incidents happened, but what is important is how well they are executed on the ground," wrote Mr. Jayam. Mr. Jayam added that he appreciated that the Minister of State brought all the documents to show another policy would be unnecessary. But that was not the point. A school's child protection policy can encapsulate all the existing regulations in a livable and readable format. It could be published on the school's website for all stakeholders to read. At the same time, it could be customized to the school's unique needs. For example, the Singapore American School's Child Safeguarding Commitment prohibits teachers from giving students rights alone in their car or accepting social media friend requests from students until after they graduate from high school. Most companies have a data protection policy to protect their customers' personal data. Despite the existence of the Personal Data Protection Act and regulations, why not do the same to enhance the safety of our children?